Revolutionary State Socialists is my name. Call me Tanky and I'll put a bullet in your brain. I'm on the top left and I belong on top. This world is a mess and I am a mop. The Soviet Union was such a great inspiration. Not perfect, but a truly socialist nation. Mr. Bezos, I'm running for election. What can I do to secure your donation? Stop enforcing labor law? Well, the voters won't like it, but oh well, they'll forgive me. Oh, hello there, I'm pleased to meet you. Don't try revolution, kids, I entreat you. It's immoral, and also they will surely defeat you. There's a better way to win, just vote for me, boo. No, no, don't listen to that shit. Top left and top right, their ideas are batshit. Revolution leads to ruin, without a doubt. An election just leads to selling out. We need a peaceful road to socialism, that is true. But it's gotta be built by me and you. Gradually built socialism from below. Worker owned co ops, that's the way to go. The means of production taken over gradually by market competition, all nice and legally. There's more to it than this, in fact, there's a ton. All right, that's enough. Let me show you how it's done. Hey, top left, how do you do? Your politics are shit and you smell like poo. And top right, you so bougie boo. And bottom right, you don't have a clue. Ooh. Here's what to know about me. My desire's for all people to be free. But capitalism has no freedom to be found. So comrades, let's bury that shit in the ground. Silly anarchites, you're both dumb as hell. Listen up, comrades, and listen well. If socialism is what you want to create, then you need a revolution, and you need the state. Well, I agree that we need a revolution, but the state is our enemy. It's not the solution. The state enables the few to rule over the many. Helps the capitalist class to blood suck every penny. But this state will be different, don't you see? Cause this state will be controlled by me. And who are you? Ha! I'm so glad you ask. I'm the vanguard of the working class. My political theory, it is the utmost advanced. Happy to see you? No, that's capitals in my pants. And because my knowledge is so vast and great, it is my duty and my right to control the state. And by me, I mean the vanguard party got the right to rule cause we're so smarty. Other parties cannot share power with us cause we're the only party that you can trust. It's the only ones who can make revolution succeed. So one party dictatorship is just what you need. Party dictatorship? I can't believe you would dare. Taking state power this way is completely unfair. The state must be a democracy. Bitch, please. The state is always tyranny. Ain't that the truth? Come on, don't be an idiot. Free and fair elections make the state legitimate. It's not legitimate to control the whole population, but democracy empowers every voter of the nation. Ugh, voting doesn't change the balance of power. That's a trick and it's dirty. Someone give me a shower. Well said, comrade. Don't say comrade to me. No offense, but your co-op shit is fucking bougie. It's bougie if workers own the means of production? By what twisted logic did you make that deduction? The market corrupts and co-ops get co-opted. Capitalist practices, they wind up adopted. Well, I think co-ops and communes and mutual aid can slowly overgrow the wage slave trade and that neighborhood assemblies in each community can overgrow the state. That's how we will get free. I must say that your plan seems doomed to be defeated. Capitalism and the state can't just be outcompeted. I agree. Co-ops and the assemblies cannot grow into a threat and if they did, the state would crush them. On that you can bet. Come on now, comrade. Don't be such a pessimist. Have faith that in time we will get the best of this. It's been nearly 200 years. You got nothing to show. The co-ops and other such things didn't spread, didn't grow. Well, it's not like it's just me for who progress is stagnant. Your shit stinks to all of you. Don't act like it's fragrant. What are you talking about? I've accomplished a lot. Several socialist countries. All which have lost the plot. Those state socialist countries are fucking disasters. You state socialist assholes become the new masters. Well said. No, shut up. You're a status just like her. Well, on that one, point, I can surely concur, but my way is different. Let me tell you the plan. Take the state in the peaceful way that we can. Create a socialist party, that's step one, then run for election, and when the voting is done, hopefully my socialist party has won. And that's when I can begin the fun, because the socialist party controls the state, and can use that power to make things great. Creating a socialist society. I'll do it nice and gradually. 
Nationalize all the industry. A state-controlled economy. State control is not socialism. Get that through your head. Socialism must be controlled by the people instead. Well, I must respectfully disagree, because I represent the people. Hell, they voted for me. That may be true, but in reality, you never implement your program to the full degree. Several times, socialist parties were voted to power. Yet if your program was a clock, it stuck at the first hour. You've nationalized some industries here and there. You've implemented programs for social welfare, but you've never gone beyond this. That's just the facts. Oh, don't worry, comrades, let's all just relax. We don't need socialism in any sort of hurry. Reforming capitalism is progress, so why worry? To quote social democrat Edward Bernstein, the final goal is nothing. The movement is everything. That attitude makes me sick. You're one to talk, you fucking prick. Your socialist countries are actually state capitalists, promise freedom to workers, but they ain't seen a scrap of this. Workers on strike, red guards bust a cap in this. New boss like the old boss, and now they are trapped in this. I'm not the villain you make me seem. Remember, the ends justify the means. But means and ends, they can't be separated. If your means strangle freedom, your ends are degraded. I've won revolutions, that's more than you've done. Hey, I've come close and you're the reason I haven't won. You crushed my revolutions with violent finesse. Please, you're just jealous of my success. What do you mean by success? Because as far as I can see, your only success is that you're the new bourgeoisie. Says the guy who thinks private property's cool. Hey, I'm on your side, no need to be cruel. Listen, you two, I'm starting to feel annoyed. You're naive to believe the state must be destroyed. Yeah, because if we destroy it, that will leave a void. It'll leave us in case. Chaos, that's what we must avoid. States provide governing, they create social order. Without a state, won't society be like bricks without mortar? No, that's not true, because even without a state, we can manage society and manage it great. Right, it's not done by rulers or by domination. We do it as equals, voluntary cooperation. From the local assembly to worldwide federation, power is in each person's hands to choose their destination. That's my long-term goal too, but you can't skip ahead. Abolish you state too early and you'll wind up dead. Capitalists will wage war to crush all you build and will wipe you all out without any guilt. But we can fight back without a state or military. Instead, use malicious, democratic, and voluntary. You think that can defeat the state? Oh, please. Anarchist malicious brought your Red Army to its knees. But in the end, we defeated you, Magnavist scum. Because you tricked us. Ugh, this is why revolution is dumb. They backstabbed us during a truce. Well, that's what you get. You can't swim in the water, not expect to get wet. Revolution is bloody, brings out the worst in us, creates cultures of violence, hangs like a curse on us, and the violence can warp you, brings out a thirst in us. And even if you win, the cost ends up hurting us. Some of that's true, but what else can you do? If you don't smash the state, the state will smash you. And revolution only kills those who try to kill us. Those who don't, haven't got any reason to fear us. Be serious, you know that's not how it's gone. Okay, I admit we've done a few things wrong. Revolutions have done good, just look at history. If not for revolution, we'd still be in monarchy. From American independence to Haiti ending slavery. Yeah, but none of those places had democracy. They had no choice, but we can do this peacefully. Holy shit, how naive can you fucking be? Why not use peaceful tactics like civil disobedience, protests and strikes? Speech, how can you be so dense? The bourgeois state, it won't fall without violence. Or at least the threat of it, you can fucking bet on it. That's true, but peaceful tactics? Yeah, we can get on it. That shit can be powerful. I'm willing to credit it. Win soldiers over peacefully. Encourage mutiny. But this has its limits, and that's why we have to be ready to pick up a gun if we have to. Sometimes the only way out is to blast through. Finally, you actually say something reasonable. Oh, shut up. I find you despicable. No need for all the hate just because I want a state. And a dictatorship. Oh, stop your hatership. Plus, it's not forever. It's a temporary thing. After the winter comes the spring. The state will gradually wither away. And my dictatorship will end. Just, uh, not today. Look, this has been going on a long time. One party dictatorship? Yes, but that's not what I had in mind. It's this conversation, all this talking in rhymes. Let's wrap this up, comrade. Scott, any last lines? Well, if I must stop singing my song, before I go, I'll just say, Stallion did nothing wrong. And before I sign off, let me get one last hook in. Tune in, drop out, Google, Murray Bookshin. Smash capital and the state, punch dictators' dicks. Tonight, I'm gonna party like it's 1936. Well, I guess the last line goes to me. Ahem, vote for me and I'll set you free! Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me. Why do you do this? You belong in a gulag. So, can I count on your support, comrades? Comrades? <sighs> so, Mr. B.
Mezos about that donation. Hello! The video you just watched is based on a video essay I did about the socialist political compass. And that video also discusses a fifth section of the compass. So if you'd like to watch it, a link is in the video description and will also appear on the screen very soon. A link will also soon appear to another video which discusses how a socialist system and a communist system could work in practice, answering questions such as how to balance supply and demand in a system with no markets, no state or central planning, and no money. Before I go, a big thank you to Take 5, aka Aaron Isaac. This video was a collaboration with Aaron. I did the lyrics and vocals, Aaron did the music. Links to Aaron's channels are in the video description. And also, shout out to J Reg Gaming, whose video Political Compass Rap was a big inspiration. By the way, in the video description is a link to the vocal track for this song, so if you'd like to make your own version and upload it to SoundCloud or YouTube, feel free. Just be sure to let me know because I'd love to listen and to share it. Alright, thank you for watching. See you next time.